guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. It's becoming dusk outside and I'm about to get our solar lights out and I thought I would show you the only way that we've been lighting our year all winter long. solar lights sitting outside charging. I think they're called Lucy lights. Some of them. This one's a different kind. But they're pretty much all the same. They have their solar panel here with the battery underneath. The on off button. It's low, then high, then it blinks, then off. And then this button tells you how charged it is. And it's one out of three. And that's a good day for winter. Uh, sometimes they're blinking right away and we don't have a lot of light, but it's been fine so far. We haven't had a problem. So it's getting to be nighttime. I'm going to leave these out here until it's fully nighttime and then we're going to light them up. Here is another uh, solar charger that we have for kind of like a Christmas lights. And I really like this one because it also comes with a USB cord that you can charge into any adapter for the USB. So we have one for our car charger and we also can bring them to a friend's house. I usually only charge them with the adapter once a week and uh, I don't think we've ever had these go out on us. So we have two sets of these and I'll show you what they look like when they're all lit up inside. The only drawback on these is that the wires aren't connected so great. We have to be very gentle with them. Uh, this is where it charges, plugs into the solar, the string lights. And it's just getting pulled a little bit when we have to pull them in and out. So I don't know how long they'll last, but so far they've been doing a good job for us. So it's about 5.15 and this is the light we get left over in the winter. It's January 20th. Decent, but in another half an hour it'll be pretty dark. So we just use the lights as shown earlier. They have multiple settings. Get brighter. And we use these S hooks and simply attach them to a little handle that's on the light. We have a climbing cord running through the middle of the yurt. And we just hang it on there and plenty of light for what you need to do. Right now we're cooking soup. And we're gonna give it a little stir. Creamy butternut, cashew and ginger. Delicious. We also use headlamps and flashlights to supplement our solar lighting. That's just to have around for quick usage so we don't have to pop these on or off or if the solar absolutely runs out. We also have candles and oil lanterns which we tend to use very very little. They kind of stink and we don't like the smell and the fumes and all that. These are the solar string lights that attach to the little square solar panel that Paul River showed you earlier. They work very well to light this place up just enough to be able to see. Thank you for watching our light display and seeing how we light this place up. Everyone says that you need these expensive solar panels in order to get enough light to do what you need to do, but obviously we don't. We're two months in and very comfortable with it. We may look for more light, just saying you can do it this way if you need to. So thanks for watching. Check out our other videos and be sure to like and subscribe and comment. Ask us some questions on anything and everything to do with the yurt. We'll check you soon. Peace.